Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We've had eminent speakers since this morning giving us uh, their take on technology, on the rollout plan of the meters, and there's a lot more coming. Uh, we've skipped coffee. I've just been told that uh, we're running late for lunch. So I'm going to just take this opportunity to very quickly present my company and how, uh, why we are predominantly into. So uh, we all know that the world started switching to smart meters since 2000, and about 68% of smart meters have been installed in North America. And the growth is 5 to 7% year on year, and we expect to reach 158.3 million meters. The EU penetration is about 72%, expected by 2026, equaling 333 million meters. And the analysts, of course, are all saying that the region that they need to concentrate on is APAC, with 572.3 million meters to be adopted in India, China, Japan, and South Korea between 2021 and 2025. And this equals 69% of penetration with an installed base of 653.3 million units. Of course, the most ambitious plan is that of the government of India, and that is why we call it a disruptive vision. Smart meters of 250 million numbers by 2026, the rollout of the ambitious RDSS program, and the aim of the RDSS is to address the large AT&C AT losses by DISCOMs as a result of power theft, uh, meter tampering, inaccurate billing, and the length of time between meter reading and payments. A partial success that we've already seen of this rollout has been the 0.9 million meters installed in Bihar, which during the COVID lockdown proved to be a huge boon with billing and smart meters being implemented and having risen to 95% against 71%. Revenue collection uh, implemented increased by 12%, whereas it came down by 30% in non-smart meter areas. And during the first two lockdowns, several discoms had to send you know, formal communiques to consumers to send photographs of the meter readings. We are all familiar with this process. In the last two years, there's been an achievement of an average bill reading of 98% on the prepaid model, and this has helped DISCOMs accrue revenues of 561 crores, which is 54% of the total revenue collection. 1.2 million meters installed in UP have achieved 99.5% efficiency billing every month, and 99.7 billing during uh, efficiency during March 2022, which is the highest in the country. According to World Bank estimates, the entire country is to be connected to one digitalized national grid with round-the-clock power supply, which will increase annual rural household income by $9.4 billion and reduce business losses by $22.7 billion. This is the company I represent, EverRenew. We are predominantly a renewable energy company, concept to commissioning. We are the only company in India which provides comprehensive end-to-end -end project management solutions for solar and wind hybrid projects. Right from site feasibility to permits and approvals to land to civil, the material supply, permits, commissioning, and asset management, we provide the entire gamut of operations. We have already had projects of approximately two gigawatt in play with another two gigawatt ongoing and approximately one megawatt, uh, hundred, sorry, a thousand megawatts of hybrid solar projects in operation. These are the areas or the verticals of interest to us. Wind, solar, solar rooftop, solar water pumps. Now, smart energy meters, which I believe is the future, and asset management systems. We are also examining green hydrogen, battery energy storage, solar coal storages, pump storage, etc. Ever Renew currently has a land bank in most states for its solar and wind projects. Approximately eight to 10 gigawatt of land bank exists with EverRenew today to take its projects forward. On the smart meters, we have set up a factory in Chennai, Tamil Nadu, which is going on stream next month, which will manufacture one million meters per annum. The, the, the uh, production capability is modular in design, easy to add new processes, 
and has an in-house NABL lab. Our exclusive joint venture technology partners are the ADD Group of Moldova, who've been in smart metering business for over 30 years in design and manufacturing. They've installed more than 7.5 million meters worldwide and have a presence in 33 countries across Europe, Asia, Africa, and Latin America. ADD currently focuses on electricity metering, water metering, and submetering for hotels and rental properties, and will shortly be launching gas metering as well. And ever a new intends to be part of this entire process. Our current metering portfolio consists of single phase, three phase meters, and the following communication platforms. Basically, we are here to build smart meters for the connected world. This is all my presentation is for today. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope I kept it short enough with all the growling stomachs that we have this afternoon. Thank you.